haunting images for Venetians. Before the pandemic, these giant cruise ships would come into St Mark's Basin and cross through the centre of this historic city, built on wooden piles. For the inhabitants of the Serenissima, their presence had become intolerable. It was an apocalyptic sight to see these gigantic ships and think of the damage they were causing the city, because Venice is so fragile. Honestly, whenever I saw them, I was scared for my city. Sometimes I imagine one of these ships crashing into St. Mark's Square and destroying the columns. Concerns that more than once nearly became reality. Like here in 2019, when this cruise ship, as tall as a 17-floor building, nearly crashed into the quayside. For the Italian government, it's time to turn the page. When the pandemic comes to an end, hopefully cruise ships will no longer be able to sail past St Mark's Square. The cruise ships enter here. They arrive in front of St Mark's Square, over here, then they turn to get to the Maritina, that's the port. The government's recommendation is to let the ships enter this point and then arrive here. Marco is a member of a local residents' association that has spent years fighting for a change of route and for cruise ships to be banned from Venice. Today, he recognises that this is a good start, but believes the measure is insufficient. It's good news, but they haven't announced when it will be put into place and the smaller cruise ships will continue to come through here. Because the decision is not to ban all cruise ships, but just the bigger ones. Ships weighing more than 96,000 tonnes will have to enter through the southern channel of the lagoon and take this canal, the Petroleum Canal, reserved for merchant ships, before reaching this industrial port on the mainland. Piero is a luggage handler at the current tourist port. He's worried about the impact of this decision on the 4,000 people who, like him, work thanks to the cruise ship business in Venice. The solution can't be the dismantling of the cruise ship industry. That would cause severe job losses. We haven't been able to work for the last 16 months. The situation is unbearable. An untenable situation for the Venetian shopkeepers as well, because, since the cruise ships stopped coming due to the pandemic, the tourists have disappeared. The historic centre, which used to be jam-packed, now looks more like a ghost town. Unoccupied gondolas, deserted canals, empty streets, and dozens of businesses that have had to close down. Giancarlo runs a tobacconist and has been losing money since last year. Before, at this time of day, I would have a queue of customers. Now there's nobody. We're fighting to survive. In one year, we've lost more than 50% of our revenue, and I can no longer pay myself a salary. Before the COVID crisis, the economic gains from the cruise ship industry in Venice reached nearly 400 million euros, an important source of income for the Serenissima that affects the city's finances. The current context entails a huge loss for the city. The health crisis continues, as well as the economic crisis that goes with it. There is growing concern because it's dragging on, and tourism is not about to pick up again anytime soon. The ban on cruise ships entering St Mark's Basin will only be put in place once the new port is able to accommodate these floating hotels. A budget of 40 million euros is needed for the building works. Meanwhile, the cruise ships can go back to using the usual route as of the month of May.